the resurrection of Jesus becomes the, the foundation for Christianity. Christianity is the only religion that I'm aware of that is built on a historical claim. Jesus rose. And it stands or falls with the claim of the resurrection. If there's a skeptic out there who wants to attack Christianity and they're attacking, oh, well, I think the Bible has 10,000 contradictions. And then they go in these endless conversations about these vague passages of, you know, where they try to make everything a contradiction. Everything's a contradiction, right? Um, I would just say you're wasting your time. You should attack the resurrection. And my hope is that in sincerely studying the resurrection, you'll get saved. Like, you know, C.S. Lewis did. And Josh McDowell did. And uh, I mean, you, you name it. There's, there's a list, as long as my arm, of people who went to attack Christianity and got saved. And you could read their books. Lee Strobel's The Case for Christ. Um, even uh, recently, there was a, a guy named J. Warner Wallace, who was a cold case detective for over 30 years. Never lost a case. He was that good. He was called by, I think it was NBC or CBS, one of the news agencies. They called him the evidence whisperer. Because, because he was so good at looking at this, this, uh, this circumstantial evidence and then piecing together what really happened. When he decided to approach the Gospels, he was an atheist for years. Um, he approached the Gospels to look at the historical reliability of the scriptures and then focus for a, a portion on the resurrection of Jesus in particular. And he got saved, gave his life to Christ. And uh, he wrote a book um, called Cold Case Christianity. It's on my, it's on my, re I got to read this book list. It's, it's a very, very good book, what I've heard of it, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. So I recommend it if you like. If you like detective stories, then you should read this book, because he includes a whole lot of cool detective stories and things like that. It's well written. It's, it's, it keeps your attention and all that sort of thing. Um, but so many people have been saved through the evidence, you know. It's wonderful. The, the fact is that Christianity is not just a good moral system. If Jesus is alive, then it's simply true. And he's the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but through him. If Jesus rose from the dead, then he is the answer. And salvation is in him. And in him I have eternal hope. If he lives, I will live forever in him. This is huge. This is absolutely huge. Hope is alive in Christ. I hope you haven't forgotten this. I hope in your life that you're not getting a little distracted because when we live in a world that is constantly throwing at us media that ignores God and forgets Christ, unless they're using his name as a cuss word, and we're living in a world where we're surrounded with people who oftentimes don't want us to speak of Christ or act out our Christianity in their presence, that sometimes we can sort of be like Lot, where it says that righteous man Lot vexed his soul daily by seeing and hearing those wicked things that they were doing. That we can have our souls vexed. We need to remember our living hope. Christ is alive and therefore we have a living hope. I'll put it this way. If you have any hope in Christ, I mean, do you have any hope, even a shred of hope, then you have every hope in Christ because he's risen. It's an all or nothing thing. There's no halfway. Jesus either saves you completely or not at all.